This is a tutorial for symbols and installation of symbols. Now I'm just going to go to a folder with some symbols from Graphic Extras. They are AI files, so to use them just select that AI file, go to Organize, Copy, and then paste it and you can go to the Program Files, Adobe Illustrator CS4, that's Adobe, and then Adobe Illustrator CS4, Presets, and then EN underscore GB or EN underscore US or and then the symbols folder basically you want to copy it to that one but it could be like I said depending on your uh, version but it's basically the presets folder is the area you want so paste into that folder you'll see all the other AI files that actually exist all the symbols that already come with Illustrator for that version so now it's just been installed there you might have to enter your uh, username and password for the to uh, store the file there because uh, depends on your uh, privileges I'm using the standard account so uh, not an admin one now I fired up Illustrator new I'm just going to create a quick document right and there's the symbols palette to actually display a symbols palette you go for the window menu there and you can see symbols if it's not displayed you just go there so uh, to display the uh, symbols right and Depends on the version of uh, your Illustrator, the the symbols are actually displayed at that point, and also which ones you've actually stored in your default uh, file. So open the symbol via the right side menu. You'll see a list of other ones, and there's other library if you want to go and select one. But there's the one I've just copied. So just there. Then just by clicking on the symbols, you can actually bring them into the documents symbol library. So there you can just see them being duplicated added to that so when you actually save this document now it will actually include all those symbols that I've actually selected I mean you can delete them again if you don't want to actually use those ones so now you can just move that one out of the way I've decided those ones I want so I can now drag an instance over to the document I'm just going to move a few things around so I can actually put it on the uh, the artboard itself so right now you can resize the symbol, you can rotate, and also you can edit the symbol as well. That's one thing. You can also use the various symbol tools like the symbol scruncher and all those sort of things. So I'm just rotating the symbol now. And I can just go to the edit symbol. And then it'll ask me whether I want to edit the symbol. And that will actually be reflected in the symbols palette once you've edited it. So just going to go and change it now. This is actually, you can see at the top, and you're actually in the edit mode now isolation mode you can change the color of individual parts resize individual parts etc rotate them whatever add additional parts as well so you can just go and go to the toolbox and then add some additional parts of designs maybe text or whatever and then once you finish you can actually exit the isolation mode via the arrow at the top I'm just going to go there just display that's it just there and exit isolation mode so click on that and then you can uh, leave there. So now the symbol has been defined, redefined. So if you actually go to the symbol palette now, you will actually see the symbol has changed there as well. So it's got a different design there. So I can just drag the symbols from there as before, but now they're reflecting the various changes I've just made. And now so I'm just selecting a few other symbols, so you can just do that. So uh, that's the.